So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet the Jacob's Ladder stitch. This is a really lovely three-dimensional textured stitch. Would be great for accessories because it's very flat on the back. Great for making a bag. Also useful for doing blankets. Personally, wouldn't use it as a baby blanket stitch because you've got these loops that you can get fingers caught in. But a really gorgeous stitch and actually really super super easy if you can chain if you can do trebles and if you can do doubles you can do this so let's have a look at the tutorial so for this tutorial I'm going to be using three different colors you can make this all in one color you could make it in two colors um, it really does show off the stitch better if you have more than one colour, but it is entirely up to you. So I'm using Starcraft Aran for those of you who are interested. Uh, I think it's fondant, lavender and meadow, I think. Not sure about the meadow. Um, so I'm using a 5.5mm crochet hook. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with colour A. I've chosen lavender as colour A. And we're going to make a slip knot. You can do this in whichever way you prefer. And we're going to make a foundation chain in multiples of five plus two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I'll do twenty for this one. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So there's my multiples of 5 plus my extra 2, 1, 2. So we're going to start in the fourth chain from the hook. So we don't count the one on the hook. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So from the fourth chain from the hook, we're going to do a treble. So this three chain that's here is going to count as a treble in our work. So yarn over, insert into the fourth one, yarn over, pull through. You should have three loops on your hook. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two. And we're going to work another treble. One and another, two and another. So we have our turning chain, counts as one, two, three, four, five. So there are five travel, uh, trebles in that first section. We're now going to chain ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and we're then going to slip stitch into the bottom of that that chain 10 so if you look where the double crochet would be here so I'm going to go through there through there with a slip stitch and there's my chain 10 now I'm going to do five more trebles in the next stitches. So one, one treble in each of the five stitches. So one, two, and when I say treble, I'm working UK terminology, so that would be a double crochet in US. One, two, three, four, and five, making sure your chain doesn't twist. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to chain ten again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then going through the bottom here, I'm going to do a slip stitch. So. You can see where you've worked your chain here. So I'm going through that bit and then through the bit that comes up there with slip stitch. So 
So we've worked that stitch, we're going to do another five trebles. So one, two, three, four, and five. Do another chain ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the bottom. So I'm going through that loop there, through that loop there, yarn over and pull through and pull through the one on your hook. Now we're going to do another five trebles and that will end our row. So one, two, three, four, and five. So there we have row one. So for row two, we're going to chain one. That chain one doesn't count, and we're going to turn our work. And we're going to work a double crochet in each of the stitches across, including the ones that we've worked into. So let's count. So we're going one, that chain one doesn't count, so we're going into that first space there. So one, two, three, four, and five. Make sure you push that loop forward before you go into the next stitch. Push the loop forward before you go into the next stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. Push that loop forward. One, two, three, four, and because that three chain counted as a treble, that's the last one, so that's five. Okay, now you can carry on from here if you want to, or you can change colour here. So I'm going to change colour. So I'm just going to undo that last stitch so I can show you how I change colour. So I insert into the three chain, yarn over, pull through. I drop colour A and I pick up colour B. And I take colour B and I pull that through to finish off the stitch. So you can at this point either tie off your ends or if you want to carry them up the sides you can if you're going to put a border on afterwards anyway for a blanket then you don't need to have all the yarn ends to weave in you can carry them up the sides so entirely up to you how you want to do that so I'm going to move that tail out of the way so now we're on to row three so row three we're going to treble in the next four stitches So we're going to chain three, one, two, three. Remember that counts, so we turn. So we're not going to work in here, so that's one stitch. Two, three, four. So one, two, three. That would be the fourth, but the chain would make it the fifth. OK. 
Okay, so we're now going to do our chain. And again, we're doing a 10 chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come back down, and making sure that's well out of the way. You're going to slip stitch through the treble we were working in. And then we carry on down the row doing our trebles. So we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Chain ten, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we come down and do a slip stitch at the base of that ten. Go on, go through. Here we go. So we carry on in the same way all the way down the row, and I will meet you at the end of this row. Okay, so I'm just doing my last treble on that row. So I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. Chain one doesn't count. So we're now going to do our double crochets all the way across. So one, two, three, four, push it forward, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, pushing it forward. Oops, one, two, three. Five, push it forward, one, two, three, four, and going into the chain space, five. So there we have two rows with our colour change. So rows three and four are repeated throughout the whole pattern. So when you get to the end of this row, you can change colour. So we've got the, to the end of row four, change colour and then do row five and six in your new colour. And then seven and eight, you can come back to your first colour if you want to, whatever pattern you want to do. So you make your piece as big as you like. I'm going to add in my green row and then I'm going to show you how to do the final two rows. So pause the video now whilst you make up the rest of your piece. So I'm just coming up to my final colour change. So I'm yarning over and I'm going to change colour. I'm going to go back to the lavender that I started off with to finish off my piece. So when you've crocheted as many rows as you're happy to have, We're going to start on the final row. So we're going to start off with chaining three. One, two, three. We're going to turn our work and that chain three counts as a stitch. So we're going to work a row of trebles very much like we do on the loop row, but we're not going to do the loop. So we're just going to put a row of trebles all the way along the top. So this one counts. So one, two, three, four. So just work your way along that row with a row of trebles and I will meet you at the end of the row. 
Okay, so I'm just coming up to my last treble on that top row. I'm just going to pull my yarn through. We're not going to finish off here. So we have one more row left to do. So what we need to do now is to make the ladder part of the stitch. And to do that, you can either use your fingers or you can use a crochet hook. I find the crochet hook easier. So you've got your purple row here. So I'm going to go through that first loop. I'm going to grab the pink loop and pull it through. Grab the yellow, uh, green loop and pull it through. Grab the purple loop and pull it through. And you can see how these are now just joining up together nicely. Grab the pink one, pull it through. Grab the green one, pull it through. And pull them up quite tight and taut. And then take your hook out. Now we need to do the same for the other two rows. So grab the one in the row above and pull it through the one that you currently have on your hook. Making sure you've gone through the loop and not through a stitch. Otherwise you'll be in all sorts of bother. There we go. And make sure you pull that top one nice and taut up to the top. So you get these lovely V's on here that lie over the row above. It gives you a nice effect. This is why I think it works nice with different colours. As I said before, it works equally nice with one colour and you just have that nice texture on there and you're not distracted by the colours. Let's get these last two through. Okay, so we now have our ladders made. So we're going to go now and do our final row. So the final row then, we're going to put our hook back in. We didn't finish off the work there. And we're going to chain one and turn our work. So that chain one, as throughout the pattern, does not count as a stitch. So we're going to work our way along the row and we're going to do five stitches, five double crochets. So one, two, three, four. The fifth double crochet, we're going to do through the loop as well. So one, two, three, four, through the stitch, through the loop, yarn over, back through the loop and the stitch, and then yarn over to close off. So then we do our next five. So let me just zoom in a little bit closer for you to see that. Hopefully the focus will stay. So one double crochet, two double crochets, three double crochets, four double crochets. On the fifth one, go through the stitch, grab hold of the green, or whatever color you have, loop, and put it on whatever your top loop color is, yarn over, pull back through the loop, and the stitch, and then finish off your double crochet. And then again, one, two, three and four. Go in for five, bring up the loop, go through the loop, yarn over, pull through and finish off your double crochet. Remember if you're working in US terminology this would be a treble row. And then one, two, three, four, and into that space there, because remember that treble counts as a stitch, yarn over, 
and trim off your end. So now we get to see what it looks like. So here we are, they're all nice and secure. I've got the same colour at the top and bottom, which I think is a good idea to do, so it gives you that sort of uniform design. So really simple, once you've got your basic pattern there, when you get to row 3 with the chains, row 3, then 4, and then it's row 3, then 4, row 3, then 4. When you've finally decided you've had enough of doing your loop rows, you do a row of trebles, join up your ladder, and then do a row of double crochets catching the loops on the fifth double crochet that you do in the row in each repeat. So I think that's a lovely technique. You get a really nice 3D effect on there. Be great on a blanket. This one again I don't think is suitable for baby blankets but maybe. Could be something you do as an alternative to using um, cables. So you get that same sort of effect. Could be something you have going up around a bobble hat. It look quite nice going around there. So that's how to do the Jacob's Ladder Stitch. If you really enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please come and subscribe and join our community. Uh, I'm also over on Instagram at Conquer Crochet and I will put two more videos on screen for you to help you on your crochet journey. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy hooking!